Well, Darren, coming from behind to, to get a point again, brilliant game of football and you must be pleased with the, the fight that you showed. Yeah, um, it was help that we didn't have to keep coming from behind, but I think it still shows you know, what good character we've got in the team um, and arguably we've probably done enough to win the game. There's plenty of chances and, and then you see Ollie convert one like that. Yeah, it was a fantastic try, wasn't it? Um, you know, he's capable of that, he does that in training. So nice to see one go in. What were you thinking when their second goes in so quickly after they've taken the lead? Um, it's a killer blow, to be honest. Um, it's the last thing you want after conceding the goal. It must have been within, felt like it was within 60 seconds, so it was a bitter pill to swallow. But like I said before, you know, we show good character and done well to, to get ourselves back in the game. How hard is it to keep your, your chin up in that kind of situation? Um, well, it can be difficult, but uh, I don't think it, it didn't look like, you know, phased anybody. And, you know, there's still plenty of time left in the game, so you've just got to roll your sleeves up and keep going, really. The manager's just been talking about the quality that Peterborough have got in their squad, the money they've spent to, to have a squad like that as well. To go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a team like that must give you, as a, as a team, so much faith and confidence. Yeah, I thought we were the better side. Um, you, know, you take the, as I say, two goals inside the minute. I thought for a large period of the game we were, we were certainly the better team, so I don't think there's anything to fear from them. You went into uh, that three-man midfield again. How do you prefer like that or prefer it to the, the four-four-two? Um, it is what it is. You know, it's just just a different shape, different way of playing. I think it's good that we we can you know go into different shapes and formations, and you know we're not too one-dimensional. Does it free you up a bit more and get more on the ball? Yeah, potentially. I mean, I think it just all comes down to you know the lads trusting one each other and getting the ball down and playing. Like we've, we've shown tonight, we're more than capable of doing it. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to keep doing it going forward. Do you feel that you are getting better with each coming game? Yeah, um, I think we are. But like I said again, you know, it would help if we didn't have to keep coming from behind. It'd be nice to go two goals up in a game, for instance. But you know, the characters there. We keep moving forward, and you know, hopefully we can build on these performances and results. And you're showing how much of a fortress Prenton Park can be as well. Yeah, uh, it's good here. Certainly under the lights, you know, with the crowd. If they keep keep responding like that, then we'll be okay. Another home game Saturday. Hopefully get the three points. That'll be nice. Um, it's probably the fittest Tramier have looked in a game so far this season. Is that a result of extra training or being put through the ringer a bit in training? Uh, I don't really know, to be honest. Um, I think it's probably just an accumulation of, you know, the more games, the more minutes you get under your belt, and you know, at this stage of the season, you should be fit and ready to go. And you've been at um, Prem Park a few months now, so how are you settling in? Really good, yeah. I'm enjoying my time here. Um, Settled in well, great group, group of lads, so yeah, long may continue. Is it a bit of a ruthless dressing room, the standards, what, what's demanded of you in there, is it pretty high? Uh, no different to anywhere else, I don't think, you know, you, you play professional sports, you, you're always, you've got demands and expectations on you, so I don't think it's it's too different to anywhere else I've been. Obviously you seem to play at a much more of a quick tempo than compared to Saturday against Oxford, what do you put that down to today that you're able to do that? I think we exploited the fact that, you know, certainly the, the Peterborough strikers didn't work overly hard to, to get back, certainly in the first in the first half. Um, and like I said before, it's just, just confidence, trusting each other, passing the ball around, we can we can certainly do it.